Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Ooh. And we have a beer here from the Robin Hood Brewing Company from Belafonte, Belfont, Pennsylvania. Spelled Belafonte because the E's. Uh, anyway. Robin Hood Brewing Company is right off, pretty much, not very far off Route 80. So definitely, if you're traveling through Pennsylvania, yeah, definitely do check out Belafonte. Ooh, we got smoke. That's cool. That's like material. Anyway, Blueberry Cream Machine Milkshake IPA. That sounds fantastic. Maybe it's just me, but that sounds fast. fantastic. India Pale Ale brewed with blueberries, lactose, and vanilla. That sounds fantastic. It just sounds fantastic. I'm liking it. There you go. Crack it open with the Ouija board. The Ouija opener. There we go. Okay, I already, already a little bit of a purplish hue from those blueberries into this beer. Very nice to see. Very nice. Couldn't get the whole glass in, or the whole bottle in, rather. Give it a little tap tap for Dirty Glass Mafia. Haze for days, unclear for years. Beautiful purple hue. Just a hell of a thing to look at. And of course, the smoke is building very nicely. I like that, it's good, it's good. Fog, free fog machines. All right, anyway. Again, okay. A lot of rising carbonation you can kind of see through the glass though, even on the side, there's nice carbonation. A little kind of left with a one ring ahead. And a couple of uh, alcohol, uh, alcohol legs sticking from that was it 6.1 6.5% alcohol by volume let us get in our aroma cheers well I like it <laughs> subtle blueberry not a lot of sweetness coming up too lactose sweetness is definitely coming up through this one Blueberry, lactose, sweetness, a bit of pepperiness, earthiness. Mm. It smells like a Yankee Candle. Okay, let's get into it. Cheers. Very subtle, very subtle beer. Subtle blueberry, so it's not overblown, that's nice. Subtle blueberry, subtle grapefruit. A subtle wet, torrified wheat oat sweetness. Kind of graininess to it not lactose not a huge lactose hit it doesn't really match the aroma sadly let's get the rest in type o negative baby origin of the feces
Okay, this is a, it's a little bit lackluster. I'm not gonna lie. It's a real boring beer. It's, it, look, oh my God. I, I'm so excited. Blueberry Cream Machine Milkshake IPA. I was excited. I was very excited. This is a subtle kind of muddled down beer. It's very muddled. It has a, a nuance of blueberry, has a nuance of grapefruit, has a nuance of these kind of torrified wheat oat kind of graininess. Uh, no real lactose, nothing's bombastic, nothing's bright, nothing's in your face. Um, it's a drinkable beer. It's a drinkable beer. Low, medium side of a body. Very drinkable beer. Nothing's in your face. But at the same time, nothing's standing out. Nothing's really standing out. So nothing's showcasing itself. It is an okay beer. Yeah. Um, It's an okay beer. Yeah, you got a little bit of that blueberry, and that's that's coming through. That's nice. Um, you're getting a little bit of blueberry. This this it, it tastes. Here's the bad thing. If someone would give me this and say it was a blueberry wheat, like a, like a wit, a blueberry wit beer, hazy, a little bit of grainness, torrified wheat kind of qualities, a little bit of blueberry, I'm like, yeah, it's all right, it's it, it's the same thing, it's the same thing, it's okay, it's some thing, but it's more closer to that than a milkshake IPA. So it's not solid. It's not a solid beer. Uh, I was really looking forward to this beer, and unfortunately, it was a little bit of a letdown because I've had. Milkshake IPAs from better breweries that really delivered with the milkshake kind of kind of quality, the, the kind of cream sickle quality. Because I'm getting no cream sickle out of this at all. You know, nothing's going on. Blueberry cream sickle I thought was going to be fucking fantastic, but not so much. So I'm going to give this one. I have to give this a little bit below solid. To a 6.5, 6.5 out of 10, but it's an honest review. I will never say I'm not honest. It's one of those things. But I gave two other uh, Robin Hood uh, brews very good grades, so do check those out. They were in, in growler form, so definitely check out those reviews. And I have many, many more actually from Robin Hood Brewing Company to come. So don't let this one steer you away you know there's more to come and honestly most of the most of the people that saw blueberry cream machine milkshake ipa wouldn't want to drink it anyway because a lot of traditional traditional drinkers go to that place anyway because you can get imports and domestics and blah 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 there so they're probably going for the pizza and not so much for the beer i'm going there for the beer i don't give a fuck about the pizza so it's one of those kind of deals but anyway, this has been Paul from Beer Brewers. Hopefully, you, uh, get, if you have this, give me your thoughts and opinions. If you've been to Robin Hood, if you've ever heard of Robin Hood, the whole deal, let me know what you think. And until next time, cheers.